this video, we shall be focusing on solving equations. Solve for x. Question number six, we are given in this case. This is a typical exam question that we are going to focus with. Uh, rushing around the question that you're given, 6.1. We are given x plus 8, that is the first equation, x plus 8 is equal to 72. And there you are supposed to solve for x. But the question is how? How are we supposed to solve for x? What is it that is affecting our x? x is being affected by this positive 8. 8 which is being added. So what we need is to remove this 8 so we cross it to the other side of the equation. As long as it crosses to the other side of the equation, it changes its sign. So it was a positive 8, meaning to say on the other side of the equation, it is going to be minus 8. So x is equal to 72 minus 8, which is equivalent to 1. So if you were to subtract 72 minus 8, you are going to obtain uh, 64. You can also use a calculator at that stage. There's no effect. So be careful on a question like this. 8x is equal to 7, is different from, there you are multiplying. If you are multiplying, you divide to remove this x. You divide, you divide. But on this one, you are adding. So you transpose, you take it to the other side of the equation. If it was a minus, you do the same thing. Once it crosses, it changes to be a plus. So this one is a plus, it changes to be a minus. All right, that's 6.1, 6.2 solve again for x and we are given uh, x over 21 is equal to three. So thereby cross multiplying because I've got a fraction here. Three is also a fraction because it can be written as three over one. So being a fraction, it means I can cross multiply one multiplies x, the 21 multiplies the 3. So 1 times x, that is x is equal to 21 multiplied to 3. So their x was going to give us a 60, a 63. So that's a cross multiplication. Or you can simply remove this uh, 21 by multiplying each and every term by the LCD. So it was x over 21 is equal to 3. So to remove this 21, it is the same as I simply multiply by 21 here, multiply by 21 here, which is LCD. So this cancels. So X will be equal to three times 21, which is the same, uh, 63. So that is how we could have also answered the same question. On 6.3, there we are given a bracket. So take note, the simplification uh, is, is also familiar to the solving. So if you are not, uh, if you are not, careful, you end up simplifying where you are supposed to solve. There are brackets, which is the same way as what we know in simplification, but there we are supposed to solve because there is an equals. We are supposed to have the value of X, which satisfies this equation. So how? Expand, there's a bracket. So you're going to expand by the six outside of the bracket. So the six multiplies everything, six times X, which is 6x, uh, 6 times negative 2, that's a negative 12. So you multiply everything by 6. 6 times x, 6x, 6 times negative 2, negative 12. So this is equal to x plus 3. So as you can see, we need x, but there's x here, there's also x here. So we have to collect the terms of x to one side of the equation. So the moment that this x crosses the equal sign, it changes its sign. So that will be minus x. So this will be equal to the positive 3, which is already on the right-hand side. But I have to transpose the negative 12 also back to the right-hand side. I transpose this x, become a negative because it was a positive. What about a minus 12? The moment you transpose a negative, it becomes a positive on the other side. The moment a number crosses the equal sign, it changes the sign. So it was a minus. So the moment it crosses there, it will be a positive 12. So meaning to say we are having a positive 12 here, plus 12. Okay, five, I mean, uh, sorry, I'm already giving you the answer there. Uh, six minus one, that is going to be a five. So we've got five X is equal to three plus 12, which is 15. Okay, I'm here now on that 
case that I was trying to explain to say whenever you've got a product, like what you have there, there is a product. A product you divide, it's a multiplication. The opposite, to remove this, you multiply. Don't transpose this to that. No, no, no. You divide by that number. So X would be 15 divided by 3. Uh, 15 divided by 5, which is a 3. So at that moment, you are going to obtain X, which is equal to 3. So be careful on this type of a question uh, at the last stage then. Uh, 6.4, again, it is a solve for X. We are given 3X minus 2. Everything over 4 plus X over 2. This is equal to 7. So we can simply... Clear the fractions because seven is seven as uh, same as seven over one, so it's a fraction. So by finding the LCD of these numbers that you're given four, two, and four, four, two, and one, what is going to be the LCM or the LCD? That's a four. So meaning to say, I can multiply this by four, multiply this by four, multiply this by four each and every time to clear the fractions. So the four and the four will cancel. You get a one. So the one is multiplying this whole part of 3x minus 2. So 1 times the, any number, it remains as it is. The 2 into 4, or 4 divided by 2, that's a 2. Then you multiply these 2 times x. So that will be positive 2x. Which is equal to 4 divided by 1, that's a 4. 4 times 7 there, which is just a 28. Just use your calculator there, you're going to get a 28. So as you can see on the right-hand side, they are like terms to be considered, the 3x and the positive 2x. So meaning to say, I'm going to add these two terms, 3 plus 2, which is going to give us 5x remaining with minus 2, that is equal to 28. So how do I solve for x from there? From this part, we are going to transpose, take the negative two to the other side. It jumps the equal sign. The moment it jumps the equal sign, it changes its sign. It's now a positive on that side. So meaning to say 5x will be equal to 28 plus two, which is a 30. So we can divide by five, by five, both sides. Since we are multiplying, the opposite there is to divide. So x is going to be five into 30 or 30 divided by five, which is a six. So there we are going to obtain our X as a six. So that is how you're supposed to solve uh, this equation. So guys, you have to be careful. If you substitute this value of X, the left-hand side must be equal to the right-hand side. So for X, again, we are given, this is uh, two to the exponent of X plus one is equal to 32. That's an exponential equation that you're having there. Remember an exponential equation, it follows that if I'm given x to the exponent of a equal to x to the exponent of b, as long these bases are the same, it is follows that a will be equal to b. As long the bases, they are the same. So what you need is write this in simplest form, the base two is already in simplest form. Two is a prime number, so it's already in simplest form. Prime numbers, remember these are the, simplest numbers on earth. Those are the simplest numbers. So a prime number two, it's already simplest. This is not a prime number. So it means it can be written as a prime number, which is two, as a number two. So which base can this be written 32? 32 can be written in the base of two. Remember, we want a condition where these bases must be the same. So already I have got a two here. So it means 32 must be written as a what? As a two but to the exponent of what? So if you do not know this, actually it's a five, but if you do not know this, this is what you're going to do on your calculator. You can try this until you get a 32. Since you know that already the base that I'm going to use is a two, but it's only that I do not know the exponent to use here. There's a number that I'm supposed to use there, but I do not know that number. So I can try this on my calculator, one, one, Two to the exponent of one to the exponent of and until you get that two to the exponent of a three, uh, two to the exponent of four until you get that. If you move on to two to the exponent of five, you will see that you get a, a thirty two. So it is at two to the exponent of a five, which gives us a thirty two. So this must be a five. So remember that I said if these bases are the same, if these 
and these are the same, provided that you see that these bases are the same, what are you going to do? You are simply going to equate your exponents. So it means this automatically is equal to five. X plus one automatically will be equal to five. So how do I solve for X? Transpose the positive one. It's a, a plus, so I have to transpose it this side. It becomes a minus, it was a plus. So X is equal to five minus one, which is a four. So we are obtaining now the exact value of x. x must be a 4 at that consideration. So you, you are supposed to be very, very careful. How, how do you solve an equation? It's not just to say, uh, I, I'm solving for x. Yes, it's true that you're solving for x. But how? What are you dealing with? What is it that you are working with? That is the question. What is it that you are working with? All right. So I want us to consider uh, another question, uh, which is uh, given as um, a bracket. We've got a bracket, this and that. All right. Let's see. 6.6. .6. There we are given x minus 2 squared plus a 7. This is equal to x plus 5 into x minus 2 like this. All right, four marks for that. That's a, an interesting question for four marks. All right, what is it that I'm supposed to consider here? There is x minus two, which is being squared. So it means I'm, I'm having two brackets, just like two squared. It means two times two. So you also brackets, they can be raised to the exponent of two. So it means this bracket is simply expanding itself. x minus two, x minus two, plus a seven, whatever that I'm going to have here, I'm going to add a seven. So this is the same thing here already. There are two brackets that are given x plus five and x minus two. They were just supposed to expand. So remember from our FOIL method that I explained before, but I just said, guys, whether you understand this or not, with what does the FOIL part means? Do this. Just know that you work with x first. In the first bracket, you expand the first bracket to the other bracket. So in the first bracket, there is x. And also there is a minus two in the first bracket. There is X and there's a minus two. So start with the X first. Multiply everything with this X. So X here, it multiplies this X. So that is going to be X squared. X times X, X squared. You move on again. The X, it multiplies the minus two until you're done. Until you're done in this bracket. So X and minus two, that is going to be minus two x. You have multiplied everything by x in the second bracket. You are done with x. You move on to minus two. This is the, the other part remaining. The number and its sign, there's a minus there. So it's minus two, which is multiplying x. Minus two times x, that's minus two x. The same minus two, it multiplies the minus two at the end. So minus, minus, that will be a plus four. There you can also use your calculator direct, but that's a plus four. So this is the expansion of the, the these two brackets here. They gave us this expression. This is what you obtain from the two brackets. But what is it that is remaining? There is a plus seven. It's not part of the brackets, no. It's just a number that is added to the answer of the bracket. So you just have to add it. Doing the same thing or the same concept, you're supposed to expand also the right-hand side. So just like I said, there are two terms to be considered, or there are two things that you're considering in this case. The x, which is the first term, and there is also another term considering, which is a plus 5. So just, just, just make sure that you, you understand that. So if you understand this, I'm just going to let x multiply everything. x and x here, that is x times x x squared. I'm done. I move on to another part, x and minus 2. So x times minus 2, that's minus 2x. So x is multiplied everything in the second bracket. I'm done. I move on to the number that I'm given, which is the minus, the plus 5. So the plus 5, it multiplies the x. So it's plus 5 times x, which is going to be plus 5x. The same plus 5 it multiplies the minus two. So it's plus and minus, that will be a minus five times two, that's a negative 10. We'll just use a calculator there, you're gonna get a negative 
the negative term. So on the left-hand side, they are terms, expressions, constants, whatever that is there that need to be simplified together. So I'm just gonna have x squared, the part of x here, I have to collect the like terms uh, that I'm having here. I'm having this part of the minus two x and the minus two x, and also the part of the plus four and the plus seven constants on, on, the, on their own, the variables on their own. So these are like terms, x and x, same coefficient, I mean, same x, uh, same uh, exponent. So minus two, minus two, that is going to give us a minus four, but I've got an x. Four plus seven, uh, which is going to give us an 11. So this is going to be 11. Do the same thing on the right-hand side. They are also like terms to be considered there. Minus two x and the five x, these are like terms. So this is going to give us a x squared. Minus two x plus five, that's minus two, plus a five, which is a plus three. So this will be plus three X minus 10. So that's it. So if we are to check what is happening properly here, we are going to see that transposing the X squared was actually eliminating this X squared. If I take this X squared here, it's X squared minus X squared, that's a zero. If I take this x squared here, it's x squared minus x squared, that's a zero. So simply this x squared, since it is the same thing that we see here, is going to cancel. So meaning to say I'm left with minus 4x plus 11, 3x minus 10. So from there, I can collect the like terms, the part of x to one side of the equation. So if I want, I'm going to collect the 3x, this side, it becomes a negative. So it's going to be minus 4x, 3x this side, it becomes minus 3x. This is equal to transpose the 11, this side of the equation. It was a positive 11. So on this side, it will be a negative. Already there's a negative 10. So the 11 on this side becomes a, neg uh, a negative 11. So that's it. Minus 4, minus 3 on your calculator, that's minus 7, which is minus 7x. Minus 10, minus 2, 11, that's minus 21. Just subtract as usual. So meaning to say you can have the value of x by dividing. It's a product. Though it's a negative number, but it's a product. So the multiplication of the product is always reversed by a division. You divide by negative 7 to remove this negative 7. So you divide by it. So x will be equal to negative 21 divided by negative 7 which is a positive three. So at, uh, the value of X will be a positive three, which satisfies this equation that we are given. If we are to substitute this value of X, it must satisfy what is on the left-hand side to the, what is on the right-hand side. So these are the typical questions that you might have in your final exam. Revise as much as you can. Maths, it's all about revision. Do as many questions as you can. The more you do your questions, the more you understand the concept. So this was actually 14 marks on question number six. As you can see, uh, there's actually nothing there. 14 marks. 14 marks. Okay. So guys, let's work with more questions. More questions.